Hello, Clarington. Happy holidays. <laughs> My name is Scientist Terry. Scientists in School is a charitable organization. Our mission is to spark STEM, meaning science, technology, engineering, and math, interest in our children and youth. Thank you, Mayor Foster and the Municipality of Clarington for allowing us to be part of your holiday celebration. Are you ready for disappearing candy canes? Let's do an experiment together. For this experiment, you're going to need two cups, water, just cold water from the tap, a couple of ice cubes, and you're gonna need warm water, but for safety reasons, less than 70 degrees Celsius. If you have thermometers, they would also be handy. And don't forget a marker. Finally, you're going to need the two candy canes that were supplied to you in your kit. If you're using cups from your kitchen, then just put them on a piece of paper and label them the way I did. One cup will be warm, the other will be cold. If you're using plastic cups, you can use your marker to label your cups, cold and warm. We're going to fill the cold cup to begin with. Just over halfway full, we need to leave some room for the ice cubes. And let's add two ice cubes to the cold cup. Now we need warm water. If you need to go and grab that from your sink, you can go ahead. Let's grab our two candy canes. Now I have a second experiment I'm gonna do with you. So I want you to break the neck of your candy cane and leave the small little piece off to the side for our next experiment. We're gonna do a time trial. I'm gonna start my timer and when I say go, Go ahead and drop each candy cane into each of the cups. Ready, set, go. You can start making some observations. We're going to talk about those observations at the one minute mark. Okay, my friends, it has been one minute. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? In my warm cup, the red stripes on the candy cane are significantly smaller. I notice more of the red dye is coming off in the warm cup when I compare it to the cold cup. My friends, we're going to continue to observe the experiment at the five minute mark. But while we're waiting, Please grab those two small bits of candy cane that you have, and maybe a friend wants to join you in this experiment. Go ahead and remove the rest of the wrapper. And this time, I want you to plug your nose, and I want you to keep your nose plugged until I tell you to take it off. Go ahead and put that candy in your mouth. Suck on the candy. Can you taste anything? Go ahead and remove your finger from your nose. Did you just get a whoosh of peppermint flavor? Go ahead and cover your nose again. Did that flavor go away? And take your hand off. My friends, the very interesting thing about the human body is that our sense of smell and our sense of taste are on the same receptor feeding information to your brain. That's why, my friends, when you have a cold or allergies, food tastes different. Let's go back to our experiment and make some more observations. It hasn't yet been five minutes. We're going to need to wait a little bit longer, but I see some big differences already. And my friends, you can do this experiment with other types of candy. I had peppermints in this shape. Okay, my friends, it has now been five minutes. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I still have ice cubes floating on the top of the cold water cup, and there's still lots of color on my candy cane. 
The stripes, in fact, are still quite thick. But when I compare it to the warm cup, my warm candy cane is almost white. In fact, it has even broken or there's a crack in it. You can continue to let this experiment sit for 10 minutes, maybe even longer. Let me explain the science. Candy canes are mainly made of sugar molecules. The warm water, the water molecules in the warm cup, the warm water molecules are very energetic. They're moving really, really fast. And each time they collide with the sugar molecules, there is a strong collision and little bits of the sugar are bouncing off. In the warm cup, the candy cane will dissolve faster than in the cold cup. In the cold cup, those water molecules are moving really slowly. And so you're not getting the same kind of collisions with the candy. And for this reason, it dissolves more slowly. Well, my friends, I hope you had fun doing this experiment, Disappearing Candy Canes. Please check out the Scientists in School website. On our website, not only do we offer classroom workshops, but a variety of community workshops, including STEM club and holiday parties, birthday parties. We also have lots of free resources on our website, activities you can do as a family using everyday items you can find around your home. Again, thank you to the Municipality of Clarington and Mayor Foster for allowing us to come into your homes and spark some STEM interest. Bye-bye.